I'm just gonna... Yeah, I know. It's not happy. I'm gonna pull this line and just modify it. This is the drawing the tiles. I'm just gonna draw the buildings the same way. Okay. It's putting it at the coordinates, not Z, but B, A, Z. Z is now an index, it's not our X coordinate, and this is B, B, Z, the index of the building. Uh, the normal stuff, can't say 30 is the width anymore, we gotta say B width and B height, because we don't know exactly how wide it's going to be. And we can't say tile A and tile B anymore. Let's do this, temp A, making new variables on the fly here, temp B, and I'm gonna fill in those in a minute. See B width and B height. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't like this zero. Why doesn't? It? Oh, close brackets. Okay, we got to figure out what the A and the B are, or temp A and temp B. So let's do that. That's based off of the building, and it's based off of what team they are to know where to you know grab from down here. So let's see. No matter what, the X coordinates are the same regardless if it's our buildings or their buildings. So the team won't matter. So we say if B type equals 1, then temp A equals 0. If B type equals 2, then temp A equals so this is 0, 1, 2, 3. I'm grabbing the top left corner. It's 3, then temp A equals, <sighs> equals 6, right? Uh, 6, yeah. Now, it'll change for if the what is this team um, equals one then temp b equals zero one two three if b team equals two then temp b equals six does this make sense hopefully um, we're, we're trying to figure out where's the coordinates going to be for the building depending on the building it's figuring it's saying it's going to be here here or here depending on what team you are it's either going to be here or down here so that should draw all that in now. Let's see if it works. Push number five. Um, four and stuff works. Five's not working. Why is it not working? Here we go. Width times 30. That's the number of, that's how many tiles. So it's saying it's three tiles wide. Uh, so because I didn't put times 30, which is the width of the tile, it's actually copying a three by three pixel image over. So I saw just a little dot. There we go. Draws buildings. Now we'd have to put in checkers to make sure you don't do stuff like this overlapping buildings. Which, you know, from old like Warcraft 2 uh, mini games and stuff there were hacks that you could overlap buildings. So you know, we have to put in code for that. But for now, that works. We can place buildings. We need to be able to place the other types of buildings though. Copy and paste this a few times. So 54 will be the other buildings, this is building type is 2, that's our barracks, and that's our farm. Farm is 2 by 2, and that one is still 3 by 3. So let's test it. Pushing number 5, pushing number 6, and pushing number 7. We can build. Or, well, wait. Trees, yay! Okay, so we've got trees, we've got buildings, and we can scroll, we can do all kinds of cool stuff. Saving it again. Uh, so we need we need to be able to save our map if we're going to do anything fairly decently. So you know what? Let's you know what? I'm not even going to put a menu thing in there. I should. I'm lazy. Here we go. Put a button for save. Whoop! Not cat. Save. And then another one for load. Okay. Now I'm going to add just because did nice. I'm going to go to Components, Microsoft, Common Controls is what I'm looking for, Common Dialog. Yeah, Common Dialog. Okay, drag one of these on. I'm going to rename this thing CD so I don't have to type it a million times. Now we go to Save, we say uh, call CD dot show save. And then we say that's going to bring up a dialog box that you'll see when I show you. It'll make sense. We say if cd dot file name equals blank, then exit sub, which means if they hit cancel or something, then just get out. Now let's see. All these variables are going to be saved, 
and more because we don't even, haven't even put units in but we'll come back and do that afterwards so I'm just gonna paste them we say open CD dot file name as output for output as number number one print number one copy that paste it a gajillion times paste 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 I know some of you guys watching it drives you crazy because I'm, you know, um, not using keyboard shortcuts and stuff. This is the same as some of you. But, oh well, it's not my problem. So, 4z equals 1, 2, map width. 4w equals 1, 2, map height. This is going to be z, z, z. In other words, I'm just looping through the height and width. Um, printing the look A and select. We don't need to save selected stuff, that's not important. Actually, we don't even need to print look A and look B. Wait. No, I'm going to save look A and look B for a different reason. We'll get to it. Loop through the buildings. Z, 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 Z. Save all that stuff. Um, and then, hey, why not put something tells us it's saved. Now I'm going to take this whole thing, copy it, go to load, exactly the same thing. Instead of show save, we say show open, and we will input it. So we say input, change all the prints to inputs. and map loaded and then in the end we call draw screen just so that it does draw it. Let's test this out. Draw some rocks. I'll draw a building or two. And dump hay water. Fish need somewhere to live too. And a couple trees just you know because. Save it. Brings up, well call it test. Saved. Close down, bring it back up. I hit load. I double click on test. Map loaded. Sweet, we can load maps and save maps. Very quick and easy. Um, uh, we gotta be able to put. Hmm. You know, I'm trying to think ahead for AI and stuff. I don't have a lot of time. I'm gonna be able to. I've used up half my time now. I'm not gonna be able to use any decent AI. There's not gonna be time for that. We gotta put in units. Okay. I'm trying to prioritize here because I, you know, I'm not, I don't have a lot of time. So I'm going to grab one of these grids here of just 30 by 30 pixel whatever, and I'm going to start moving my guy, his little soldier in there. Uh, let's do it like this. Just chuck him in there, make him happy. Um. I don't want to do this. His legs move, but I want the rest of them to line up properly. Because otherwise, like his head needs to always line up, kind of a thing. And then on the last couple, his feet need to line up. This so, so that when he moves, he's not shaky. If that makes sense. You know, like his at least he's stable. Like his head will always be exactly in the same place on every frame or his feet will always be the same place in every frame that way we control how he moves and it's not a uh, problem and then, uh, I want him facing this way to line up so that if he turns around it all looks good and his feet move again so we'll copy these over Make his feet move. This is all st the art type stuff takes a lot of time, sucks up a whole lot of time. So um, this is stuff that you can do, you know, when you've got a lot more time than I have. 